what is up guys and welcome back so we have a, a really special video dropping and a nice series dropping for you guys um as you guys can tell by the title uh we bought goon squads insanely built 370z and we're going to be bringing that to the channel um i will be showing you guys a little walk through a little walk around of all the damages and what we're going to have to do uh but like i said unfortunately i did not record much and it kind of sucks because it kept you guys out of the loop a little bit but i'm here to bring you guys a lot more content with it and uh, make up for it so i do apologize so stay tuned and we're about to show you guys all the damages and everything that needs to be done So here she is guys the very first thing we have to do is adjust this fender right here because it does touch the door when it opens and closes go ahead and open up the driver's side door and show you guys the seat problem that we're coming across here she is uh, unfortunately the airbag is blown so we will have to replace either the airbag and get it sewed back up or replace the whole seat and i'm just thinking about replacing the whole seat because that'll save me time from getting it sewed up taking it somewhere and getting all that stuff situated so like I said, unfortunately we have to do that, which is no big deal. I already found a seat and it's not that bad. It's 250 bucks for the whole thing, perfectly fine. Um, so we will be changing that out soon. And then we're gonna close this back right here and go along here. Um, I do wanna say that we are gonna be repainting this thing, completely respraying it. The same exact color, just a nice slick finish. As y'all can tell from the rear end, the tires are balder than bruce willis's head and we will be having to replace all these tires which isn't an issue because luckily we had tires come with this thing which is super nice of them to do um here we're gonna pop the trunk and give you guys a glimpse of the airbag suspension setup we have this sucker sitting right here um unfortunately the guy that did this um airbag setup did put um a piece of styrofoam right there to hold support this part i am thinking about getting a piece of aluminum underneath and just running it and just covering it all up so it'd be thinner than metal and lighter than metal but at the same time it support the whole thing and i think that that's what we should do and go away with the piece of aluminum foam another thing this car will need as soon as possible is a fresh wash as you guys can tell there's uh just dirt everywhere um goon squad had a bunch of cars sitting and this is one of them and you guys can tell that this isn't as important as their other cars so we will have to wash it um unfortunately the wing hasn't came in yet for this thing so that's why i didn't grab it yesterday but when it gets there they'll let me know and i'll swing by and grab it and that's another thing we have to do is slap this wing on so that should be pretty fun to do one thing from the rear end before i move over to the right side is we will be removing this street arrow uh little diffuser right here just because this is a nismo bumper and we'd like to you know show that it's a nismo bumper um nothing against street arrow this thing you know holds up and is perfectly fine but i'm just gonna see what it looks like without it and maybe we'll keep it maybe we won't it just depends on how it looks with the wing so moving over to this passenger side quarter panel we will need a locking mechanism due to the fact that this one is just clapped out um as y'all can tell it is nice to put a a lock on here because it is 2023 gas is not the cheapest thing around right now so you know we always got to be secured and this bad boy right here takes 93 so a lot of people wouldn't mind taking it One more thing i forgot to mention on this quarter panel was we will need uh probably a new bumper bracket just due to the fact of this one it just keeps on popping it out right here we are going to be ordering new hardware uh, we're either going to go with stainless steel chrome or maybe titanium. Uh, I'm just afraid of going with black again or a painted color because I don't want it to rust out like it is again and uh, to look like that. So hopefully we can find some hardware for a pretty decent price. Hopefully some titanium kind um, so that it'll never rust and it'll always look good and um, not give us any issues in the future. Basically with all that being said guys, you guys seen... Um, but, uh, what needs to get fixed, what needs to get done. So 
with everyone asking what we're going to be doing with it that's what we're going to be doing with it we're mainly going to be focusing on the priority things first and then after we get this thing repainted you know drivable suitable for the road again we can finally start going into work on the interior maybe get some really nice bucket seats um who knows maybe do a hydro we might even complete this drift build that they wanted to do and let them drift it who knows we'll see how it goes but one thing i would like to say is that i i am thankful for the opportunity that they uh, gave me to buy this thing now since i have been wanting to purchase this thing for the last three to four years i also wanted to buy it as soon as they brought it home from the auction uh but they wouldn't sell it to me they wanted to rebuild it so here it is now three years later uh we saw the miata and we switched into this thing for me i think it's a win-win situation for them maybe a win loss or a win-win situation they obviously got more room now for another build and they don't have to uh, keep messing with this one so hopefully we can knock all this out pretty pretty quickly and get this thing on the road and looking right and i think whenever we repaint this car we will be taking off all of these uh flares and stuff like that just because we want everything to get painted right and um we are going to be replacing the hardware either way like i said so we might as well just go ahead and pop them off sand everything underneath the flares sand the flares paint them all at once paint the whole thing and make it <clears throat> match and look pretty decent um i don't know what kind of wheels these are i'm really new to these i really like these and i really really wanted them but um i could never afford them so now it's really nice to have them on the car the car itself is a sports package it's got the big brakes it's got automatic rev match so that's another plus um it's got this nico wide body which is insanely nice um i don't know if you guys remember if you guys seen my z i had a silver one and i really want to do these flares on it also could never afford them and it's just weird looking at this thing and seeing it the way i wanted to do my car and it's sitting right here so i'm super happy super thankful like i said for them and for them to give me this opportunity so i'm going to run with it and i'm going to make this some super nice content for you guys and hopefully you guys enjoy it if you guys did enjoy the video please like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think um unfortunately we're not going to be starting on it just yet we have uh two other projects that we're working on and we actually are recording this video on a saturday and we're going to edit it and post this video for you guys today just so y'all can get caught up and see this thing um uh, we had other plans to post another video but this is a little bit more important to me right now so uh <clears throat> we'll catch you guys up and i think in the next video or two we're gonna slowly start start to start on this thing and uh go from there so if you guys did enjoy the video please like comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think let me know what we should do to it uh who knows we might even wrap it but let me know what you guys want to do with it or what you guys want to see and we'll catch you guys in the next one peace